Hey guys, my name is Christian Taylor. Welcome back to Trailer Made, where I like to talk about all things online branding and marketing. If you've ever used WordPress before, you probably know that you have a major target on your back for hackers. And you might be thinking, what do you mean? I just run a small blog or website for my local business. Nobody's gonna try to target me and hack my website. But the thing about WordPress is, hackers don't care about you. Hackers don't care about your website. They aren't trying to hack it for some crazy reason like wanting to hijack your business or change the content on your site. Hackers utilize vulnerable WordPress websites to carry out textbook scams, such as hosting a tech support scam landing pages or sending spam email from your web server. Scammers are smart enough to know that they would be banned instantly from web hosts if they carry out these practices on their own web hosting accounts. So instead, they rely on hackers to find backdoors into innocent people's web hosting accounts and use them to do the dirty work. WordPress sites are an easy target because there are millions of WordPress sites on the internet. So hackers spend a lot of time and resources figuring out how to hack them. Once they find a backdoor they can exploit, they will go around and do it to as many WordPress sites as possible before the exploit gets fixed. So how can you secure your WordPress website? Well, let's start with the basics. First, avoid using the username admin for your WordPress backend. This is the first generic username that hackers try to breach, so you want to have a unique username. You should also never use a username that matches your domain name. So if you own baseball.com, don't use baseball as the username to your website. Brute force scripts that try to guess the login to your site will try admin and the domain name itself as usernames. So using unique usernames actually secures your website a lot. Now, if you go to change your username in WordPress, you'll see that it's actually not possible to do that. But there is an easy way around this. All you have to do is create a new user with admin privileges, set your desired username, and delete the old admin account with the weak username, and you're all set to go. I'll also state the obvious and remind you to use a secure password. It's best to use a randomly generated password that's at least 12 digits, but if you can do 16 digits, you might as well go for it. I recommend using a password manager like LastPass or 1Password to securely store your randomly generated passwords, because I know one of the biggest objections to a randomly generated password is, oh, I'm not gonna remember it, and you shouldn't have to remember it. Do yourself a favor, get a password manager if you don't already have one, it's gonna make your life awesome. All right, now it's time to get into the main way to secure your WordPress website, and that's by using a free security plugin called WordFence. WordFence is a set it and forget it plugin that offers protection against the most common WordPress backdoors and has an active firewall that will automatically block IP addresses, making constant login attempts to your website. WordFence sends you emails every time an admin logs in and includes an IP address. So if you ever see a login you don't recognize and know isn't you, you're able to take action immediately. WordFence also gives you real-time statistics on failed login attempts, blocked IP addresses, and just about anything you would want to see. Although WordFence has a ton of options and settings to tinker with, you don't have to touch it unless you want to. You can totally download WordFence for free, walk through the initial setup screen, and never touch it again. It does a lot to protect your site from common hacks, and it's an absolute must to secure your website. Now, there are some optional things I highly recommend, like the free two-factor authentication feature in WordFence. You can just go to WordFence WordFence and go to the login security screen and scan the authentication code using a two-factor authentication app. I personally recommend using Authy for this. And this gives you yet another layer of protection that makes it even harder for a hacker to breach your site. Even if a hacker did crack the username and password to your website, they would still need to know that two-factor authentication code from Authy, which changes every 30 seconds to get into your website. I haven't always used two-factor authentication on my websites, but I'm starting to add it to as many sites as possible as I log into them and make changes. Two-factor authentication is becoming the new standard in security on even big sites like Google and Facebook. So it's cool to see that you can now do this for free on your WordPress site 
and I would highly recommend it. Another optional thing you can do is enable Google reCAPTCHA on your website. WordFence offers support for Google reCAPTCHA version three and the free version. So all you have to do is go to the Google reCAPTCHA console, generate a key for your site, and paste it into WordFence. Now I'm a little bit on the fence on if this is actually necessary or really helps anything, but it certainly doesn't hurt to add it. It's another totally free thing you can do, and it will basically allow Google's advanced algorithms to analyze your login page, and if it detects a robot, it will present them with one of those Google CAPTCHA challenges that must be completed before you can press the login button. This can dramatically slow down a brute force script that's just spamming the login form over and over with different random jargon, so it's great to see that WordFence offers this. WordFence does offer a premium version for $99 a year, but I've never had a premium license. I've just always used the free version, and I've been very happy with it. I mean, when you get an advanced firewall, live monitoring, two-factor authentication, and Google reCAPTCHA for free, what else could you ask for? Now I wanna talk about something that isn't directly related to security, but it's a critical component in protecting your website, and that's offsite backups. The reality of WordPress or any website platform is, Nothing is 100% hack proof. Using the methods in this video will harden your site against the most common attacks, but your site still can get hacked. Fortunately, if you have a good automated backup system in place, the damage hurts a lot less. With the system I personally use, my site gets backed up automatically every day. So if my site got hacked, I could just click a button and roll it back to the previous day and be done with it. I could then investigate how the site was compromised and make sure I fixed the vulnerability or whatever backdoor the hacker used to get into the site and then move on with my life. If you don't have regular offsite backups and your site gets hacked, you're in for a serious headache. I have personally had to piece a WordPress site back together that got hacked without a recent backup, and I didn't have fun. If I had offsite backups like I do now, I would have been done in minutes instead of hours. So what do I recommend using? Well, I think it's easiest to just use the backup system your web host provides if it's a quality system. Now there are WordPress plugins that offer offsite backups on any host, like Updraft Plus, Backup Buddy, and Bold Grid, but I think it's best to find a host that just offers a high quality offsite backup solution with easy one-click restore if you can. I personally use Cloudways. They have a very robust backup system that I love. And Cloudways isn't for everyone. I think it's gonna be quite overkill if you're just running a single small WordPress website due to the way that it's set up. But I have a Cloudways review that you can check out if you'd like to know more info about that and see if it's something that might be right for you. But for the majority of people, I think you're just gonna want a small shared hosting account. And as of my last hosting comparison video, I recommended Hostinger, DreamHost, and Namecheap as some good shared hosting options. Namecheap in particular has some great shared hosting, and their highest plan is still relatively affordable, but it offers that one-click restoration on daily backups that I love. Whatever host you pick, or whether you choose to use a WordPress plugin instead, just make sure it's an offsite backup to another server, and make sure it's backed up regularly, and there's an easy process to restore it if needed. So, what do you guys do to secure your WordPress website? And have you ever had an experience with your WordPress site getting hacked? I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments down below, and if you like this video, do be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss when I release new videos. With that said, I will catch you guys next time.